What up, peeps? So I wanted to keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. I'm currently back at my cousin's house. If you saw the last video, I helped redo her whole garage. This time I did the basement and I'm so excited to share this with you. I know it's like weird. Why the hell do I care about doing this type of work? I just like seeing the transformation. I thought it was really cool to be able to experience this and do something outside of my expertise. Like I don't, this isn't stuff that I do on the regular. It was definitely a learning experience for me. And I can say that I have so much more respect for guys or even women who do stuff like this because it's a lot of hard work and you don't realize it until you do it yourself. You're using tons of muscles and like, oh my God, I had some of the best workouts. Let me tell you, painting and getting down low, crouching and doing like everything I did was like tough, hard labor. And I enjoyed, I mean, for the most part, I enjoyed it. That's so funny. It looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. I promise I have clothes on. <laughs> I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> anyway, here's the transformation. Guys, so I moved on to the basement. Everything that's in here, I'm pulling it out, probably painting the walls, potentially the floors after they're cleaned. I already moved out so much stuff. There's definitely way more space in here. I kind of moved so much out already. And I know it's a disgrace. This is like horrible, but sometimes to clean, you have to make a mess to then make it better. All right, guys, I was so busy doing this project that I forgot to like give you any updates on anything, but I cleared out the entire room. I swept down the walls because if you didn't know, concrete is so dusty. I recommend if you ever buy a house with an unfinished finished concrete basement, do not put your stuff. Don't store anything until you do something with these walls. That's my suggestion because of the powder, but you need to read about different types of basements. So anyway, I'm in here sweeping up the dust from the walls and I got a shop vac, like a really good one. I'm gonna vacuum everything up. It's a lot, but I'm learning and I'm excited. So I'm gonna show you this. This whole room is packed with stuff that was inside. And I put this runner so we don't get the carpet dirty. <laughs> but yeah, I put all this stuff here. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Back to work. Oh, also I cleaned out this cubby hole. If I can explain the amount of cement dust that was in here, it was pretty bad. Today's project is scrubbing the walls down. You're supposed to do it as prep before you do the painting. This has the soapy solution. This is to rinse it. And then this is the water bucket. I gotta get up into this little cross space. I'm gonna scrub these walls down on the floor. And it's gotta dry completely before I paint. I'm done the crawl space. Got the fan blowing on it. The bucket's gotta be changed out because the water is dirty already. Today is the last day. This basement is going to look like this with the concrete walls exposed because I'm painting it. I'm about to start with the primer and hopefully I'll have enough time to also do the regular paint coat when I'm done. This room's gonna look way better. No more of the powdery chalk coming off from the concrete. Also, I hate, it's funny that I used to love this hat because I really hate it and I'm only wearing it for my projects because I don't care if I get it messed up. Anyway, I will show you guys the next step once I'm done. I'm currently ducked down right now in the crawl space. I'm painting, I'm rolling it on, and it looks so good. I'm so excited. Oh my God. <laughs> the only thing that kind of sucks is the foundation was poured in here crooked. I painted up on the wall a little higher so that it looks even with the way they poured the concrete, but this looks so good. This is the finished crawl space. I'm actually holding one of those utility lights because I, I love this thing. You can see so good. This is the main room. I even got in between this area. This was pretty difficult because I had to do this by hand. Well, everything was by hand, but like with a paintbrush I had to do under there around the water heater. I can't wait to put everything in and just organize it. I'm so annoyed with myself because I always forget to show you the very beginning of things, but I just spray painted these shelves that go inside the filing cabinet because they ended up getting a little bit rusty from sitting over the years. Now they legit look brand new. Of course this happens. I was just done. I just showed you guys and something pooped literally just pooped on top of it. So I'm here trying to scrape off the poop <laughs> so I can repaint it. This is the moment that I have been waiting for for so long to be finished. <laughs> is completely done and organized. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> yes, I'll start here. 
If you remember the shelves that I spray painted outside, they're here, they're finished, they look brand new. Oh, the main thing I think I forgot to say the entire time was that this is a storage room in the basement. That's the part of the basement that I like redid. This stuff wasn't like this before, so everything is so easy to find now. This is bothering me, I have to tape that on. Everything is in its own category. This entire shelf is for basically painting supplies, except the top. This is tools here on the top two shelves. And then down here, it's cooking related things that you don't always use. This is my other cousins who used to live here. It's their stuff from when they were younger some PlayStation stuff is all together on that shelf this is some art supplies and then some other toys everything is just in bins and organized it took a long time because not only did I do the whole room I spent a long time organizing and putting everything in the place that it should be so that you can find it I'm really good at organizing things and that's how I'd like to live my life because it's helpful this made it way more convenient this is that crawl space that I was showing you earlier. It's all finished and I made it more functional. I think this looks amazing in my opinion. I'm really, really satisfied with it. One thing that I don't do is if I am doing something, I have to do it right. So like, I probably have OCD. I think I do, I guess, but I don't mind. Anyway. Here is the other room. This is the main basement room. This hadn't looked like this in years. I put a couple touches on it to make it look more cozy and comfortable. Let me get the light. I love walking around with this utility light. So, oh, oh, damn it. Just broke a light bulb. Well, I'm not perfect. <laughs> okay, anyway, so here's the utility light that I love. This is the room. I don't even know what to say about it. I just love it. <laughs> it's so much more cozy in here. It looks really cool. I feel like it looks more inviting to have a good time down here. It just makes me want to play pool right now. <laughs> and then I put things together that belong together, like the weights with the workout stuff. There's albums up top here. A lot of them had been falling down over the years, so I fixed it. This stuff here is all going to be donated. You should have seen all the donations that we've made from everything that I've done here so far, but we made like lots of donations. So this is nice that we're going to be able to give some stuff away to people. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know. I'm excited. I really like like, I love this project. This is more exciting to me than the garage project that you guys had seen in the other video. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. Oh, and I organized the bookshelves a little better, so it's a little bit more inviting if somebody wanted to read a book. Let me know what you guys think about this project. I definitely put my heart and soul into it, <laughs> as corny as that sounds, but I loved it. Like, I'm so happy about it. Anyway, if you want to see more stuff like this, like, I don't know if there's more that my cousin has to do in her house. She does want to redo her kitchen. I can't do that type of work because I have no idea how but I'm gonna help her like pick out the stuff. I'm pretty good at designing, interior designing and picking things and making them match. So that'll be fun. If you wanna see anything like this, let me know and I'll try to somehow find projects like this and I'll do it. And I do still wanna buy a house one day. Mark my words, one day it will happen. I'm gonna buy a house. I'm gonna be doing stuff to it myself. Some kind of property that I'll flip, who knows, but it's gonna be fun. Now there's so much activity space in here. I can do cartwheels. <laughs> All right guys, I love you. Peace on the streets. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys.